second, and let's just create a hashtag called not what you think. Okay, why? There's no rhyme or reason to it. So then I decided to go check out the Facebook page. And uh, so this is pretty good, um, except for uh, there's no, okay, so here, want, this, is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This is where they did well. Want to be a part of the conversation with Paris? Like this page now. That is what I'm talking about. That's actually pretty well done. They give you a reason to actually click the like button. Now the problem is, is where's the like button? You're here. Okay, I want to like the page. Where do I go? Um, da, 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 da. Oh, here it is. No, that's not it. That's the share button. There's the like button. And I knew where it was, but a lot of people don't. You're going to want like a big arrow pointing to this like button to show people where to go. Um, so, okay, let's click like and see what we get here. Um, we get pretty much nothing. So, that would be, a, there we go, there we go. Okay, so now it looks like they're integrating with Ustream, which is recording live. So, okay, so this was recorded live um, and was part of their um, premiere party. Okay, so what? Okay, so that's pretty cool. I, I can dig that. That's a pretty good. That's a pretty good tidbit. Now, now the thing is, is that if you didn't know about this beforehand, you would never be able to actually, you know, know what was going on. You would have totally missed it. So, um, if you go on the wall, let's check out their wall. And this is actually, I am pretty impressed with their Facebook page. This is actually. Um, this is actually interesting stuff here. Like this, this is this is the first thing they did right. They got their Facebook page right. Um, now the problem is, is when you look at the massive amount of followers that Paris Hilton has, she has four, over four million followers, and her Facebook page has a le less than eleven thousand likes. That's pathetic. And this is the good stuff. This is where they're driving engagement. They have good photos. This is mu uh, ten times better than their website. This should be the focal point of their campaign, and 11,000 people like it. There should be way more people liking it than that. And so basically, this was whoever was put in charge of their Facebook campaign did a really good job, but they did a horrible job marketing it to get people to this Facebook page to sign up ahead of time. Um, so basically, when we take a step back, we want to look at when you're doing a celebrity's web presence, you want to sort of create a wheel of interest. You already have like massive amount of exposure, especially if you're Paris Hilton. You have raging fans that sort of want to, um, you know, do what you tell them to do. So basically, what I mean by um, exclusive content is you want to have, uh, you want to spread your content around. Like spreading content is not bad. Um, for example, when you upload a YouTube video, um, if Paris Hilton were to upload a YouTube video, it should syndicate to Twitter and say Paris Hilton just published, or you know, I just published a YouTube video, and it should go to their Facebook page as well as a status update. Um, but at the same time, you don't want all the content to be on all your locations uh, automatically. And <clears throat> the reason is, is then if that's the case, then people don't have to go to all your various places. They can just stay on one place and just sort of consume the information as it comes to them. So again, I you know, I, actually coming up with a better campaign with details for Paris Hilton's new reality show would take quite a bit of um, upfront planning, which looks like it was the major part that was missing here. But I can offer a few critiques right off the bat. Number one, the website is horrible. It's downright awful. I don't know if that's an oxygen thing or a Paris Hilton thing, but the website is horrible. It needs to be branded Paris Hilton. It needs to have that Paris Hilton feel. Uh, it needs to have a focal point and a call to action. It, it, it needs to be a goal-oriented site that is heavily Paris Hilton branded, and it's just missing that. As for exclusive content, it also is missing any exclusive content. There's nothing really on there that you can't get anywhere else. Like they had a place for like a blog um, and like message boards, but all that's going to going to Facebook and Twitter too. So um, maybe on their on their on their website, one of the um, one of 
they can have exclusive content where like Paris Hilton answers your 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 fan letters or uh, send Paris Hilton a, a picture of your of yourself and she'll post it um, on she'll 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 post it on on the website or something like that something exclusive that's not going on anywhere else now again from there we can move on to Facebook which again I think they did a really good job they sort of had that Ustream exclusivity where you have to like the page in order to be able to see this um, this premiere this premiere party which really gives you an inside look of the day of which is really good that's exclusive content that's only to Facebook now Twitter for example they could use that as uh, they could use Twitter's at, to promote exclusive content as like an inside look into Paris Hilton's life Twitter is a lot more spam friendly and what I mean by that is if you post 50 status updates on Facebook a day people are gonna unlike you right away but that's kind of accepted behavior on Twitter so Paris as she's doing her new show or filming her new show or whatever could be posting constantly on Twitter oh I'm going into here now I'm going into there now and the exclusive content then becomes an inside look into Paris uh, filming this new reality show and so finally we can move on to YouTube or whatever whatever video service they wanted to use and so the exclusive content here would be videos that aren't published anywhere else maybe you can't embed these somewhere maybe uh, they're not they're not automatically published to the website in order to uh, get the first look at these new videos maybe of the preview of the upcoming week's show or outtakes or something um, maybe in order to get that you have to be a channel subscriber on YouTube so basically what we've just now done is we've taken um, four four spots that are connected um, and syndicate content but you have to be a member of each area in order to get the exclusives that each spot offers and in that case once you've done that you can drive that content around so for example in the YouTube video description you can say uh, you know for more videos um, and for an exclusive look at my live broadcast check out my Facebook page for fan pictures go to my website and for an inside look at my life on set uh, follow me on Twitter and you can do the same thing on Twitter you can do the same thing on Facebook you can do the same thing on the website and you create this wheel of engagement uh, that that uh, sort of drives people from spot to spot the last thing I'll say on this which I've kept mentioned which I mentioned a lot is this needed to start a lot sooner it, it becomes really fake when you just sort of blast out this information at the last moment it just sort of be okay this is clearly a promotional tool they're not really interested in me as a fan they're just trying to get me to watch the stupid show um, that's one negative and number two uh, the other negative is if you do it at the last minute people who aren't already following you they're gonna miss all this stuff like me and and a whole bunch of other people who didn't even notice this until the day after the show aired as we can see by the search volume so the major takes takeaway um, from this in in building a celebrity website is uh, make sure you have exclusive content per spot make sure you start early and make sure you engage uh, so that's the third thing make sure you engage and finally make sure your website is branded and has a clear call to action to work with and that is my recommendations for cleaning up this Paris Hilton fiasco with her new show The World According to Paris.